while you are getting that part back up, I'll talk about the rosters I was just handed. So we got Arthur here with his Guardians. It's Star Lord, Rocket, Groot, Gamora, Angelos. What is it, Angelos? Because I was reading Angela and Thanos was the next one. Isn't that uh, Rita Repulsive's dog? <laughs> Angelos and Thana. Uh, Angela and Thanos with space and reality this time. Nebula, Toad, Winter Soldier, and Mystique. Nice. Uh, a little okay. sad there's no Drax love here, but not that surprised either. Yeah. Uh, his team tactics cards are Deadly Duo, Deception, Escort to Safety, Mission Objective, Recalibration oh, Matrix. Who's doing that? We are Groot, Face Me, Inspiring Monologue, Warpath, and Crew of the Milano. Meh. Demons Downtown. Okay. All right. 19 Fred. All right, 19th threat, Demons Downtown, and Struggle for the Cube. And Shane has priority. This might be a quick game, as I believe both of these gents are pretty practiced. Well, what are the two? Uh, Demons Downtown and Struggle for the Cube. At 19? At 19. All right, and then Shane, we saw him earlier, but I'll go over it again for those that weren't in that game. Uh, he's got Spider Foes, the Green Goblin, Lizard, hey, Venom, Jesse, how are you, dude? Mysterio, Good to see you. Cassandra Nova, Doc Ock, Black Widow, Two Threat, Craven, Voodoo, and Beast. And his tactics cards are Grand Illusion, Lethal Protector, Mental Domination, Brace for Impact, Exceptional Healing, Sacrifice, Sinister, Traps, Fallback, No Matter the Cost, and Face Me. Face Me! Face Me! I'm making a couple calls here right now. Calls? Oh. Uh, that we are going to see. I missed it the first time. <laughs> I think at least these three characters on the spider foes, and that will be Green Goblin, Cassandra Nova, and Mysterio. Mm, for all the chippity traps. Mm -hmm. Man, I made a great call the first game, nailed it completely, uh, and forgot to do it since then. Yeah, that's super fair. <laughs> Jesse, though, great to see you. So Jesse's from Fury's Finest, uh, and uh, great podcast. I'd suggest to listen. They dive in pretty deep to the lore of the characters and stuff, which I really appreciate. Give comic issues and references, and a really broad base to the uh, to the lore and narrative as a whole. Jesse also did um, probably one of my favorite organized play kits, the uh, Unstoppable Colossus Knot. So good. Mm -hmm. When you do it right, it's even better. Yeah, right. <laughs> Listen, when we can read, we're actually like pretty okay-ish. Well, professionally casual. Yeah, that's very true. Very true. So, so, right in the name. All right, so it looks like our competitors for round four are getting ready to <laughs> to go up. They are playing at 19 threat. I don't know if you can see it. Shane has a priority slam challenge. Oh. Shane has what? How's the dice look? Yes, no? It's rough. Not great. It's not great. No? Okay. Are you all right, Ty? All right. Oh, absolutely, Jesse. Uh, I'm actually very excited. So so uh, the Fury Finest folks are going to be at LVO. Uh, going to be a lot of people there. We're very excited about Yellows. Better. Better? I just don't know what the symbols are. Are they, like, special? Okay. I feel yeah, like whatever. I just had that bigger earlier. Yeah. Yes, no, maybe. Yeah, it's serviceable. Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All so right. Getting our squads together here. Want to see some deadly duel with Rocket and Groot? Yeah, for real. I'm really excited about some deadly duo. What's the other one? He had Crew of the Milano. Lovable Misfits. Did we see that on the roster? I feel like we're missing that one. I don't recall. Yeah, I thought that was a typical Guardians card that he didn't have that I was surprised. Yeah. <laughs> Making some more calls that I am going to expect for the Guardians player that we will be at least seeing. Crew of the Milano, Deadly Duo, and maybe Iron Root. I think those are all totally fair. Mm -hmm. All right, so they're going over those cards now. Who won the Sentinels game? Um, Rusty did with his shield squad. 
Whoa. Yeah. All right. We're gonna... 16 to 9? 19 to 9. So let's start oh, with, well, the, we got them all let's start with the Guardians list because that's what I have up currently. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, we got some familiar faces. We got some good calls. All right. So we've got Star Lord, of course, Rocket and Groot. We got Winter Soldier. And then Thanos with his, uh, I think it was, was it Mind and Reality? Thanos with you, they're right here, think, right? Oh, they're right in front of me. Space and Reality. I was almost there. <laughs> Space and Reality. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lessons that Thanos should learn. One of them is Recalibration Matrix. Maybe, if that's part of his group. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, we got Recalibration Matrix. Escort to safety, crew of the Milano, deadly duo, and we are Groot. Was it really? I got all three, three out of, those? of three. Wow. Nice. Pretty excited about that. Doesn't get much better than that. And then for Mr. Master, the. Oh, they did switch sides too. Oh, we don't see that often. No. That's kind of cool. Okay, we'll put those cards over there for Taylor to give back to mm. the players. Mm -hmm. And then, looks like you're right on this side as well. Oh, I'm happy. Uh, so Shane is shaking things up just a little bit from last time. He's got Green Goblin, Mysterio, Venom, Lizard, and Cassandra Nova. Nice, okay. So running five there, same base for some traps. And then his cards are the Grand Illusion. It isn't any like more that. than that. Uh, Mental Domination again. Nice. Mental Domination. healing. Ooh. Making Lizard that tank. Uh, Cassandra Nova can use it as well. She also has oh, healing, that's right. uh, healing Factor 1. Sacrifice for probably Venom. Sacrifice. And Lethal Protector. Lethal Protector. I so like no. this one a lot better than the last one because Lizard's in it. <laughs> <laughs> Two, three, four, five. So no Sinister Traps, huh? No. Okay. I didn't uh, make that my call, but... Demons uh, Downtown and Cubes. I guess he didn't feel like there was... I mean, there's still a middle point here. Yeah. That's yes, it. Either way. Far, whatever. I feel cool. like he knows what he's doing. He's like 2 one one right now, so. Correct. That is accurate. So that's going to have Guardians on the opposite side of the board and Spider Foes on the left. Really like to see this particular list for Spider Foes as well. It's a very fun one to watch with traps going off and lots of movement shenanigans. It's, it's really one that kind of makes you have to be on your toes a little bit as far as um, what exactly you're going to be doing and trying to do against it. Shan Man Nick Games. Okay, looks like we're going to be getting into it. They're placing their objective down with both those demon portals. And because we crash each time, I have to reset a bunch of stuff on here because <laughs> it didn't save uh, as, you know, <coughs> it didn't have a chance to. So we're going to shrink that bad boy down again. Going to call it a day here very soon. All right. Beautiful. 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 Even. Beautiful. All right. If you're just tuning in, this is going to be game four. Of day one of the Marvel Crisis Protocol tournament here at Everwinter in downtown Boston. Where are we again? <laughs> downtown Boston. 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 Bean Town. Boston makes me feel good. I'm pretty sure the Ghostbusters weren't based in Boston. No, they were not, but <clears throat> it all matter. It all right. matter. Okay. Bye, Con. Good to see you back, by the way. Keebler, Jesse, Alyssa. Hope you're all here. Hope you're all having a good day and a good time. Raven's Guard as well. Hello, hello. What's going on? Mad place called Vertigo. All right, putting those cards out. Slapping down the cards. Oh, fist bump, for fist honor. bump is intact. Yeah, fist nice. Fist bump means aggressive. Keeping baby. it safe. Um, so one thing I will say about Shane, 
Um, and I'll, I'll go on the record on this. Uh, we, I have the same jacket as Shane. Uh, mine is branded for the company I work for. His is not. But it's not branded for the company you work for? His is not. That's mine, weird. Mine is. So unless he works for Columbia. How maybe do you get does. that coat? How did I get it? How do you get that coat then? It doesn't what? work for your company. No, it's a different company. <laughs> it's just a generic coat. <laughs> I was going to how long I go and confuse you with it. <coughs> oh, gosh. I, got, you, I got it. Thanks, man. I can hit the button. Yeah, you can. Hey. Oh, Groot and Mysterio are both down. Mysterio's going the wrong way. He's confused. No, it's actually just a trick of the eye. <laughs> oh, lizard. All right. Lizard. Hope he does something good. He just get punked by Thanos. All right. Next deployment for Arthur is going to be Star Lord. Who? <laughs> Cable, man. <laughs> no, I didn't say who's that. I just said who? Where's Cable? Who? What? All right, looks like we're going to be getting a Cassandra Nova over on the spider foe side. <gasps> Hers works well to say it like Greninja and Star uh, Smash Bros. too. Cassandra Nova. <laughs> Gabby, thank you for the follow. All right. Looks like we're going to be going with a Greenimus, a Goblin. I like that... Uh, uh, Rocket took the high ground there. Yeah. On top of the building. Yeah, he's actually fine to be a little bit back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, everything yeah. does that, huh? Everything's got wall crawler in flight. Wall crawler in flight. Boo -woo. Spider foes delight. Boo <laughs> Spider foes delight. <laughs> all right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Thanos is taking up there. He's going heavy in the middle. Yeah. And he has space and reality, right? Yeah. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lessons that we should learn. Reality. All right. So I do kind of like that, especially with like Groot being able to get him into range for things, especially with that uh, range three strike now. Thanos, Groot, and Bucky are getting the winging token. Oh, Thanos, yeah, winging. Groot, and, and Bucky. Bucky. No Rocket. Rocket is normally a very popular opinion for that. But I like that. No sinister traps today. No sinister. No traps are sinister. There's there's a lot of traps on the field here, uh, with demons downtown and whatever the other one is. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it down. Cube struggle for cube. Oh yeah. You know, I really like Thanos and Guardians. You can still go wide ish. Yeah. With a bunch of with points two gems in still. Him. Yeah. And he still has five characters. Mm -hmm. Winter Soldier and Guardians is actually also very good. That's, yeah, I like that placement as well. Normally, he also sees a wing in a token. Um, so I played against Brian. Cannot remember his last name. What's that? Okay, Venom's going to go right up and grab a grab a cube as we enter round one here. This is, that's mine. That's mine. Oh, the red one. <laughs> They're crazy. So, you may think that this is round five. Just kidding, it's not. It's only round one. Really? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, these players play fast, not that fast. <laughs> okay. So, he so. grabs, uh, what was it, a cube and then back on the building. Yep. Just to assert dominance, lording over this parking lot. I don't hate that, just keeping him a little bit safe. You don't want him to be incinerated. Yeah, especially with the. No, wait, what do you take? Space in reality? Yes. No mind gem to, to no yank people gem. out of position. Uh, well, and like I so that space gem, the reality one's kind of cool here. And then he's going to stand, uh, Star Lord moving up, picking up a cube, and then standing and squatting on that to do the portal. Okay, looks like we are going to be measuring for Mysterio to move up, and he's going to be getting that back demon portal. Yeah, Demon's downtown can be a pain because it's like, who do I need to get these points, but who can I risk being incinerated? Yeah. I'm looking at the long move here. Exactly what'll that what that'll mean. Potentially with a space gem up, buttercup. Alright, you love to see it, Chuck. That is a Groot moving on up. 
moving on to the up. middle demon up. portal. Up. Seems like moving again. Putting himself down. right in danger. Oh, okay, no, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll literally, just no, ignore all now. the things I just said. <laughs> Root double moving, getting some cover from that rock sign sign, maybe. It's a three. Take your hand and come with me. Because you look so fine that I really want to make room. Do, 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 do. Victory points make me doinks. Boom, boom. I don't know. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Guardians players' hand tattoos are nice. Actually, they are. They're pretty rad. Well, hold on. I see a failure, and I see almost what looks like a hit result in a wild. Does he have the dice results from this particular game tattooed on his knuckles? <laughs> I think they happen to be similar. Oh. I'm not sure what's on his ring finger, but his pinky hey, definitely looks like a wild. Him. Hey, Lemmy. Welcome back. Hey, Lemmy. Okay. That was Goblin? Blizzard. Blizzard. Blizzard's going to also grab a cube. Stay off of that demon portal. Scared. Well, you only need to really get it with one. He knows outside of Thanos, unless Thanos really wants to put himself in danger, and this might be some bait here in trying to get Thanos, or Thanos moving someone up there to take that. Yeah. Um... That would be extremely risky this early in the game. Ooh, you know, you know, I think it's probably going to be taking that middle point for Arthur, the Guardians player. It's going to be yeah. Rocket within range two of Groot, <laughs> and if Groot's going to be taking all the attacks, who cares if he has incinerate? I mean, I guess that's true. And then Bucky that grabs could, a cube. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Bucky grabs a cube. Bucky grabs a cube. Groot's just really got to watch out for pumpkin bombs. Yeah, considering him with energy attacks, <laughs> only getting one die. Yeah. Oof. Yep. Uh, Mr. Farlander, no, that Groot is in fact painted. He's just painted very woody. Mitch has a good point. It's a light Groot color. Yeah. But yeah, he's definitely painted. Mm -hmm. It's more tan brown. Yeah. A more mother of brown. Tan than brown. Are we going to go a whole round more without any dice rolls? That would be very kind well of amazing. Might. Very well might. All right, so we have Thanos and Groot left for the Guardians, as well as Green Gabo and Cassandra Nova left for Spider Foes. Green Goblin. Looks like we're testing some ranges here. Does look like Rocket might not ever really have to move off that. So we got range. He can just kind of hang in the back and shoot them all. He's got a gun for that. He does. <laughs> we also have Winter Soldier. Nope, Winter Soldier has, in fact, moved up, getting into position for next round. I'm trying to stay outside the Rocket. So it does seem like uh, Green Goblin is trying to stay out of Rocket Raccoon range. I don't blame him for that. Yeah, he can hurt. He hits just as hard as Cable. Just doesn't have incinerate. That Who the heck is that? Anyway, oh, just moving up and calling it a day there. Okay. Moving on up again. I really like how carefully these folks are playing. So it looks like we're getting a double move up from Rocket, making sure he's at maximum range outside of that, but right next to Groot to be able to take some attack backs. Ooh, I really like that, actually. I do believe Groot would be getting cover on those bodyguard attacks. That was actually a very nice setup. Very smart from For real. But it's interesting that the first couple games we saw were incredibly offensive and aggressive, and this is definitely playing one hand. No, what's the saying? Like, yes. Tentatively. Yes. Uh, you know what I'm saying. I don't. I wasn't listening. What's up? Uh, who? Cable. <laughs> He's not in this game. So it looks like Cassandra Nova is going to be trying to move up here, wanting to mind possession. Um, Rocket. Obviously, that would be bodyguarded. To, to uh, that would be bodyguarded by Groot. But I think with where Groot has placed himself, that would not be something he could do. All right, so Groot was already taking a hit for Rocket with Psionic Bolt. Only showing one block, only showing a wild. So I think that's just going to be a sap, no damage. That Onto Groot. Is good for Arthur. Ooh, and is he using a wing token here for some reason? He is. I'm not sure what that result was. Yeah. Then it becomes another block. Okay. No damage, but a power gets sapped. No damage, still a sap. So we're a little sappy here at Everwinter. 2022. I think probably figured why not? That was his last activation anyway, so yeah. might as well use the winging it. The only dice rolled this first round, I believe. Oh, Thanos still has to go. <laughs> he yes. might roll a bunch of dice. Who knows? Correct. <laughs> Very careful game here. Both of these players seem to be really mindful of placement. Yeah. Interesting that Shane is giving up the middle point 
this mm-hmm. round and just saying, all right, you take it. Yeah. Mitigating damage on himself is a big deal, though. Yeah, lose the battle to win the war. Get incinerate on the people that matter. If his rocket's incinerated, or it will be, but Star-Lord. Right? Star-Lord's in the back point. Mm-hmm. And Mysterio. Yeah. At this point, will be incinerated. We'll see what Thanos does. Well, so who's grabbing that back point for... Oh, Mysterio is. Okay, yes. also a good person to have that on. Yeah, because he when you're, just, yeah, he's he's getting four dice now instead of five, right? Because he can't roll lower than one, so when he's not getting his benefit, it still doesn't change. Still real good. Yeah. Good choice. Demons Downtown is really one of those those ones where you kind of see a lot of practice and thought come out. Oh, Star Lord just fell over to make way for Thanos. Well, as he should. He got bow to your sensei. <laughs> bow to your sensei. Get on your knees. All right, so we're looking at probably a teleport. It looks like he moved. Now he's going to time space gem jump. Mm-hmm. I can talk today. Make a trees and arrange some. Oh, oh, <laughs> dropping templates. And this is going to be a cosmic blast. I'm assuming into. It looks like he might be measuring the venom. Yeah, I would. That's an energy attack. Yeah, absolutely. That's also going to have Thanos be getting incinerated on his turn. Looks like he's, looks like he's spending the, the power. Venom. He does have three extra power on his turn, and I don't know how much he spent, but it seems like it might be a handful. Spending three power. Uh, how much did he spend for it? He can he can pump it up. He spent some power. How much? Okay. Wait, what? Mind gem. I thought he had space in reality. Taylor's just confused at what's happening. Gotcha. He cosmic portaled Venom back. Oh. So still no dice. Okay. And then he moves back instead of attacking. Who else from the professional Castle Network to travel with you? So we have Taylor, myself, and Dan, in addition to uh, Lindsay, my wife. She's been super helpful. She has been. <laughs> She like ordered lunch and then got it when it got here and then gave it to us. And drove around. That's one Boston. of the things very specifically you and I hate doing. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. I mean, she was able to order online. I can do that. Yeah. I don't like calling things. That's dumb. Mm-hmm. Since it's old cubes, they still do damage. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> oh, hey, honey. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Where are you? All right, so we're going to get some cube damage. I believe that's going to be going on Star-Lord. Um, Venom. Nice. Lizard. And was it Groot? Maybe. Was it? Fuzzy Wuzzy. Was it Groot? Fuzzy Wuzzy wasn't cute, was he? But Groot wasn't fuzzy, was he? Who has the other cube on Guardians outside Star-Lord? Uh, oh. Bucky does. Say, okay. Right? Let's score five to three. <laughs> Lindsay okay. said she's all around. Five to three guardians. Yep. Sweet. So that is going to have spider foes at three going into round two. Thanos, Rocket, and Bucky with the wing. Thanos, Thanos Rocket, Rocket, and Bucky. Bucky. Okay. Uh, say, no, Groot had it last time, which was a great move. Yeah. You like to see it, Chuck. Uh, and uh, Shane takes priority. And that is going to have spider foes with priority as well. Oh, that could be big. They're still pretty far away from each other for round two. Yeah. Okay. Round two. Priority. Spider foes. Got a couple moves to make here. So this is one of those times where maybe this is where you're doing your venom activation. You're just getting him back up. Get him out of kind of like a pass almost. Into the way almost. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't hate that at all. Cassandra Nova also could pop off here if she wanted to do something cool. He does need to get back in position to be relevant this game. Mm -hmm. Yep. Also not a bad time for Lizard. Mysterio, if he's just going to be like flocking around. Christmas tree? Yeah. (laughs) It's a Christmas time of Mysterio. I mean, Mysterio does have Christmassy colors. His cape is more purple, but you could paint it red. So, and going with the characters that are incinerated as well, not a bad way to start your priority too. Shake it, 
because you're not going to have it till next round. Save yourself a little bit of hassle. That's a good call. It does look like. That's a good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> does look like we will be going with Venom here. I did think that that was going to be a good move too. So he might have the power to pull here. He did gain some extra power during the power phase. So that should have him at two. Is pull two? I believe so. Yeah. I think so too. What's it called? What is his pull called? Uh, Tornado Claw. Oh yeah. Duh. Hmm? I don't know, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's two power because so many uh, his his re, uh, counter attack is three. Yes. And his builder is three. No, his spender is three. It's been a long day. It has been. <laughs> It has been. Uh, so on Mr. The Venom. Dr. The Venom. It is Web Snare. You know what? I thought it was, too. Is MCP even a dice game for these two? No. <laughs> I think we rolled a no, total of not. four dice so far. Or Correct. Something. Five. Cassandra Nova's uh, Psychic Bolt is a five. My friend Lindsay, she's no longer lost. Psionic Bolt into Rocket. Group takes it. Alright, going to take another Mind Bolt, Psychic Bolt, Psionic Bolt, some might say. That sounds familiar. From Cassandra Anova. Cassandra Anova. Alright, so we're grabbing those dice. Looks like we're only blocking one. Uh, same with a sap, so it looks like one damage is going to be going through. One damage through and a sap. Nice! Alright. Nailed it. Got it in one. Damage through. That's twice she's sapped one power from him. Yeah. He's got to be feeling a little tired. <laughs> Actually, yeah, probably. He's taking it the same amount of damage at the same time. That's actually one of the things that's almost kind of a perfect scenario uh, to counter group. Yeah. He's doing just as much damage as you're taking off, so he never really has enough to actually heal himself. Mm. Yeah, because he can stick around for a long time with that heal. Mm -hmm. Is it two power to heal three? Ooh, and then it looks like we're getting moved up. Yes, two, two to heal three only can be used once per turn now, though. Thank goodness. Rocking around the group, Miss Tree. <laughs> All right, so Cassandra Nova also tiptoed in. I believe that is to control that point, maybe. I will only go for one die on physical defense rolls. This could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. Uh oh, Rocket's out of position. But Arthur could just use Rocket's turn. Next so, what did he use to do that? Taylor's looking at a card. Was that a mental domination? Oh, yeah. He used that. mental domination? Rocket's going to punch himself. You can attack yourself with it? What? I thought you had to attack another character. Advance them small, let the character that played your card may make the attack above. So the player that, the character that played this card makes the attack. Cassandra Nova plays the card and makes the attack on the rocket, measuring from the rocket to himself. That seems wild to me. I feel like we never, I still yeah, can't it, understand this card. If, 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 <laughs> if Thoris or, or anyone is out there, uh, Raven's Guard, if can you force them to attack themselves with mental domination? That seems wild to me. But yeah, Tio's in another room. But domination is wild. Oh, we've definitely seen Arthur before because he's got the he uses that Thor Lego minifigure for the turn counter. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's right. I love it. Okay, so then Rocket is going to go. He's going to move back to get out of danger. What's up, danger? Oh, and then it looks like we have a tactics cards use here. So what are they spending? I can't tell what card that is from that art. Looks like a flamethrower. I don't see Pyro out there. I mean, it's got flames on it. Pyrotechnic. But so long story short... I think that. All right. Rockets back to the middle as well. Well, we know what tactics cards he has. So which oh, one yeah. is it? Uh, we are group. Oh, is it Deadly Duo? Crew of the Milano. Escort, escort to, to safety. safety. I think it's Escort to Safety. Yep. It's not Recalibration Matrix. Mm hmm. 
So how did that work? So Rocket got Mental Domination. And then, Escort to Safety looks like it is the one that did it. When an enemy character targets an allied character, so, yeah, okay. Within three, the targeted character may spend three to play this. Push the, okay, so we push the shelf back short. Wow. <clears throat> Can you use, yeah, mental domination to make a character attack itself? All right, showing only blank so far, and then a skull. Not so good. Not so good. Wing and a token being spent here to reroll. Rocket is dazed from the mental domination. Wow. <laughs> Okay, so Rocket... Rocket smacks himself in the face with his gun and knocks himself out. It hurt itself in its confusion. And uh, Rocket is dazed. Hey, Merry Christmas, Sir Dial. Oh, yeah. Oh, all the way from the 707. <laughs> what was that, Florida? I don't know. <laughs> okay, what a wild play that is. That is something I've never seen before. Sorry, Rocket... Didn't move. Escorted to safety? What's that? Did he escort to safety? Uh, I think so, yes. Okay. So Groot actually took the head. Groot okay. Takes four days. So so Rocket's not days, Groot Rocket took four days. days. Okay. <laughs> California. <laughs> oh, I was close. California, yeah. Just the wrong ocean, right? Okay, so just, just to kind of replay that a little bit, right? So Cassandra Nova. Mental Dominations, Rocket Raccoon. Rocket Raccoon moves forward. Then, Rocket Raccoon escorts to safety himself back, or Rocket, one of them, someone escorts to safety, Rocket Raccoon back to safety. Then bodyguards the self-attack from Mental Dominations. <laughs> then, Just punches Groot instead. Does not roll any defensive successes and takes four <laughs> damage. What? I, I'm still what? confused on exactly what happened there. But, uh... Dr. D, how are you? Uh, my throat is very hoarse. Um, nice. I might turn into a horse. Ooh. Uh, right. Ooh. Nice. That's the power of infinity. <laughs> the power of space technology magic. There's a lot of space in infinity, I've heard. Or there's a lot of infinity in space. If there's plant, uh, yes. Yeah. It just got flung around. So uh, it's yeah. a space, space universe that rhymes. And it, uh, there's no uh, spaceship game. So I know the producers of, I know Sparvis Valley, the if any people just watch your MCP. They do. They're actually big so, fans. Hey guys, I really need you guys to make a spaceship. All right, guys, you need to make a spaceship <laughs> Infinity game. You heard him. That's the doctor. Dr. D. Uh, you can check him out on a bunch of blogs on the network here, actually. So we do have an attack popping off here. <laughs> Looks like we got, actually, whoa, two crits and a wild and a hit. Uh, it's Dr. the Dr. D. Dr. the D. The Doctor, the D. Doctor, Mr. the D. Mr. Right. the Doctor. All right, so it looks like we have, wow, five, six damage going into a defense of two. Ain't he that Elite Eight Showdown guy? Yes, Quint. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor D is that Elite Eight Showdown guy. Rocket, Rocket? Rocket did what? Five, five to damage who? to Green Goblin. Wow. What's he got? Seven on this side? Must be. Oof. Wow. Kaplow. He's a heck of a shot. Oh, you like me now. And then he ran away. <laughs> yeah. Crushed it. Winging it. So we just saw, I don't know if you heard me recapping that, but a Cassandra Nova mental dominationing a Rocket Raccoon Ford to no longer be able to be bodyguarded by Groot. Punching himself in the face, but then being escorted to safety to go back into bodyguard range by Groot. So then Groot <laughs> took it. Uh huh. It was a wild. <laughs> you might need to write this down. Can yeah. Make, can you make a chart? You know, somebody yeah, going to need a flow chart for <laughs> that. Going to need some diagrams. The character playing the card is doing the attack. However, yes, the attack can target the character being affected by the card. So Nova can move a Hulk with the card and then have the attack be on Hulk. That is so awesome. So we've still been doing that card wrong. What do you mean? Because we always use it to have the person attack somebody like an ally. No, you could. I you, don't understand that. You can card. do both. It's both. I don't get it. So you can move your friendly model to mental domination to hit themselves. No, you can move enemy models to hit themselves. Oh, but if you move Hulk. So. That's interesting. That's an interesting concept. So, uh, a Nova can move a Hulk to punch himself as long as it's an enemy 
Paul. I just won't use that card. Say again? I can't wrap my head around that card for some it's, reason. The reason why it's, it's literally the same way we've been doing it. You can just have that character attack themselves in addition because they are an enemy character. And it is the uh, Cassandra Nova player that is making the attack. Okay. You're just measuring range and line of sight from Rocket. He's within one of himself. So Cassandra Nova attacks Rocket. Because it does not say other character. Right. It says True. an enemy character within range. Okay, I got it. To a new level to stop hitting yourself. Stop hitting uh -huh. yourself. Stop so hitting yourself. Mm -hmm. Because Groot just saved him. Pulled him back. Groot made Groot instead. I'm sorry about that, Sir Dialot. It, that's not something, unfortunately, I have any idea how to actually control. But I know they go away. Um, if, okay, pumpkin bombs into Thanos. So it looks like we have one block here. One die always goes into that corner we can't see. <laughs> right. Thanos is a range four? I think yeah, it's always totally thrown off class. a bit based on the camera. Oh, yeah. All right. So am I going to token? Oh, fuck the editor. It is. That's very true. The ads help us actually get here and constantly have equipment failing. Oh, Alyssa, thank you so much. Nice. Yeah, Sir Dialot, your ads are gone. Reality gem takes nothing. Okay. Ooh, reality gem popping off there. Reality. <laughs> what a nice lady. Yeah, she really is. What a sweetheart. Unless you're playing against her. Yeah, and then, then she, her then Angela she, is just going to destroy then she you. she stomps me into the ground. <laughs> no, no triggers. Okay. Spider-Foes versus... Uh, Guardians. Guardians with Thanos. Yes. They're friends. Thanos Guardians. They're yeah, friends, it's the what-if uh, grouping. Of, I see. Yeah. Um, also, the Spider-Foes roster, I don't know if you've seen this, but Cassandra and Alpha, Green Goblin, Mysterio. So many traps yeah, all over the place. That's yeah. why I play Loki. Uh, oh, that's right. Mind stone. Yeah. Mr. Sinister also, also yeah, an available option. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's how you get Mysterio in, actually, is you clone him. <laughs> oh, that sounds like fun to me. <laughs> oh, that's super nice. We'll sing some Christmas songs for you. Bucky shooting Green Goblin. All right. Bucky into oh, Green Goblin. Sacrifice is played. Sacrifice. So it looks like we're even here. Two, two. Working around. But that is going to be a rapid fire. It does take and damage. And then, yes. Do, do, do. So that's two so far, three. Oh, really? For the day? What's that? Okay. Yeah. No damage again. Okay. Assault rifle not doing a gosh dang thing. Oh, the bleed does happen, though. Oh, he's bleeding now. And he's going to do it a second time. I'm like assuming he's taking up. again here. <laughs> okay. So the rapid fire is going to go off. Looks like he is... I don't know. Locks it all, buddy. He's going to go the rapid fire here, so we will have a fourth attack. He just can't hurt spider foes. Uh -huh. This is wild. That's rough. Would you say it's rougher McGuffers? Wow, same there. So just one that is blocked. Reroll with a winging a token. Mm. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Was that four shots that did nothing? Mm -hmm. That is wild. 16 dice, no damage. Didn't even know MCP. I just like hearing y'all talk. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that has Winter Soldier activated. Looks like Lizard, Cassandra Nova, and Green Goblin are all activated. We still have Venom and Mysterio left for the Spider Foes. We still have Groot and Star Lord, and maybe Thanos on um, the Guardians. What's that lizard go? Missed okay. that one. I'm just so used to lizard just running up there and trying to cold blood at everybody. Yeah, he's not doing it. Huh? I think Oh, he has an activated token. Oh, token. it's a bleed oh, it's token. bleeding token. Gotcha. Right. All right, that makes more sense. Gotcha, my gotchas. <laughs> Sir Dialot, your name is really familiar. Are you someone we know locally? He said he's in California. Oh, never mind. Well, he said the 707 is California. I guess they're not necessarily from California. Oh, gotcha. And if it was someone like 
Kreger, he would certainly announce himself. Mr. Kreger now, actually, now that he's married. Oh, yeah. He's not a master anymore. Nope. Not a master of Kreger's. Mr. of none. A pad of one. Had a one? Yeah, instead of a master, he's a Padawan, but of one, so it had a one. Oh. It's pretty good. Oh, yeah, you did. And he won, too, Jesse. Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, master yeah, Quinn. Find out who won, Jesse, on the VODs for this particular Twitch. Uh. <laughs> it's like the second or third video because it's crashed a few times. Yeah, we're, we're crashing pretty hard today. All right, so I think he's taking a look at, is he going to activate the Venom, the Mysterio, or the Lizard? Taking some ranges out here. It does look like we are going to be going with the Lizard. Yeah. You, 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 you. Move up and do something. Moving on up. Is it? Groot hasn't gone, but I don't think Groot has much power to be able to, like, Groot? Uh, Groot does have power because he just took that four from Rocket's oh, self punch right. that he jumped his face in the way of. Yeah. <laughs> Rocket goes to punch himself, but Groot gets in there somehow. Yeah. He just holds his hand in. It was really emotional damage from taking that <laughs> punch from his friend. Emotional damage. But Groot could get up there uh, with uh, I am Groot, stagger somebody. I am Groot. That Digital Monsters. Digital Groots are champions. But that one is only range two. Yes. It's going to be a little more difficult for Groot. Yep. Grootimus Maximus. All right. I think we need to be moving along here. This is a long time to choose who you're going to be going with. I mean, he doesn't really have a good option here. He can't pass. So sometimes you just got to go with someone. What might hurt the least? Yeah. You can move up Mysterio. Just keep him there. If he's not going to be doing anything with the Mysterio, just to... Yep. Okay, that's there what I call. It's going to be hard if you play back too far because he's not in range to do double attacks really at all. Right. <laughs> I think it's just he's scared. Of, he doesn't want to get near Thanos, which I don't blame him for. And then he just said, I just hate Thanos. So we are going with this. All right, he moves up. Not quite on that center point. Is he going to move again? Is he going to attack? His tail whip does have range four. Everybody do no, the sorry, tail whip. <laughs> range four would be crazy. Rub-a-dub-dub. -dub. It's time to get huh? some grub with a tail whip. He is doing a tail whip in the group. I mean, Groot did take some damage here. He hasn't gone. Nothing. Nothing. Uh, All right. A lizard tried to poke a tree with his pointy tail, but between his legs is where that tail remained, as lizard did no damage, and he's the one to blame. <laughs> Just wrote a Christmas nursery rhyme for you there. <laughs> Write that one down. Put we'll stick it on your Christmas tree. <laughs> right. Clip that. <laughs> Oh, thank you. We haven't seen Wraith yet today. We should busy this weekend. Yeah. All right, back to Arthur. He's got Thanos, Groot, and Star Lord left, I believe. Yep. This crown. His Santa right in the stocking. I think I saw it measuring for Star Lord. What's that? Okay. Breaking even on that bleed. Surprising he didn't exceptional healing it. Is that surprising? No. No, not at all. No, not at all. Terrible uses. It would be. That's fair. <laughs> Just throwing that power right in the sewer. <laughs> Ten power right in the sewer? <laughs> That's how you give back. You could have got a Hulkbuster with that. <laughs> it's fair. Some of you might find it someday. Star Lord hit and run into a wizard. All right, so Star Lord showing two here. Um, looks like maybe just one to a minimum of one into the lizard. Takes just one. one, and then he gets to move with that hit and run. Mm -hmm. Might be moving up to that center I think point. He here. moved, then hit and run. He was a little bit further back, wasn't he? Nope. No, you're right. He's been there the whole time. 
That's me, the chosen one, outside the demon portal. <laughs> and he's going to move off. He's securing that back point pretty well already, so he doesn't kind of need to do anything. And he might shake the incinerate here. Because that was only one move, right? No, I'm pretty sure he moved up, shut, and then hit and run back. Oh, I got gotcha. you. All right, good call. Because where he is now looks more familiar. You're a real smart feller, Dan. I tried. You're also a real fart smeller, I man. I was a fart smeller earlier. No, it was too much smelling. Yeah. All right, so that was Star Lord. So as far as activations left, I believe we still have Groot, Hydrate, and Thanos. I would like to see more Star Lords using the Power Stone. I, I, I don't disagree. Being able to full auto every turn is nice. Yeah. Or definitely being able to hit and run every turn. Also mm -hmm. nice. Once in a while, I'm doing both. Right? You know how much we've always wanted one of those. You know how much we've wanted to do both of those in the same turn before. So we have Venom and Mysterio. Um, Arthur playing a really good mental game here by not activating that Thanos, which has Shane a little nervous. He I'm wants to move Mysterio up to do something, I'm pretty certain. Maybe some hypnotic gas or something along those lines, but doesn't want to put him up there and in range to be teleported upon and then punched in his dome. His big dome head. I feel like, though, if you're scared, worried about Thanos, mm -hmm. I feel like the best move is just take him down. He's really hard. You can't avoid him. Let Venom him just is move, move. just moving on up. But he has such a threat range with the space gem and his own teleport and all that stuff. We can't yeah. teleport himself, right? On his, from his car. Thanos? Yeah. Thanos can teleport himself. Oh, I thought it was only other characters. But he's got such a threat range and a range. I'm sorry, with the space gem or his cosmic portal? Cosmic portal. Oh, gotcha. That might be another character, yeah. I think so. But, like, you can't just ignore him because he's yeah, going to get you. All right, we are Groot. We're going to heal some boys up. Everybody's undamaged except for Groot. He's got three. Oh, okay. That's a resource, but <clears throat> he needs uh, he needs Groot around. <laughs> Dude. So does Arthur's that mean playing the game of attrition really well too? He really he's is just not taking much. Well, he has more characters. He knows that Shane is nervous about having Thanos there. I'd like to see him just open up with Thanos and go hog wild. Just teleport in there, punch Lizard into somebody, and mm -hmm. you know, show yep. him why he's scared of Thanos. Group has declared an attack on Lizard. They're thinking about lethal protection. Okay, so Groot is going to group punch at range three into the lizard. Shane is taking some time to consider whether he is going to lethal protector that group punch. Nice. Oh, Alyssa, thank you. He does have four physical defense. It is going on lizard. Okay. All right, lizard is going to take it. We're only rolling one success so far, and lizard is blocking it in spades. In spades. Spades. We do get the wild. I don't believe that does anything. But he looks like he's gonna do it again. Spends his last two power, heals up the full. Um, he's gonna attack Lizard again. Okay. Heals. Groot is now at full. A significantly better attack. We have a crit, wild, and a hit. Oh, that's gonna be four. He's blocking three though. Wow. Those lizard defense rolls are just off the sewer chain. Pillow fist that on both sides of the mm -hmm. dice today. Yeah. Nobody can get damage through. Alyssa, if you want to be an absolute deer, there is a um, Discord channel for strip clean or stream clips now. The old clip streams. Clip stream. Stream clips. Also, thank you so much, Alyssa. Really appreciate you here. Oh, we All right. Somebody playing with chords over there. Oh, it's Lindsay. Lindsay just fell down on the ground. Looks like she's going to be really plugging in her fall. telephone <laughs> <laughs> under the table. Arthur's team is at full health now. Arthur wow. <laughs> wow. Arthur has zero damage on him now after we are Groot and then Groot healing himself more. I mean, you, Dan, I think you said it earlier. You said a war of attrition, and that is what he's here to play. He's up in points. He's going to be probably claiming those same points again this round. Mysterio moving up to get in there is certainly not where he wants to be. There's no reason for him to play aggressive at this point. What he's doing is totally working. Yeah. Yep. He just needs a couple more rounds to do it. As long as there's not a crazy spike on uh, Shane's side, Arthur. All right. That's going to be a space gem. Space gem. Getting him in there to contest right. that as well. 
think he's got a couple people in range. This is not going to go well. Within range two, he could just strike people and throw them into other people. Yep, yeah. There we go. I told you, punch lizard into somebody. Are you be able to buy PCN Christmas ornaments at some point? Gosh, that oh, would be awesome. Great idea. That's an incredibly good idea. Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Lethal Protector. So Venom will be taking this one. I forget he gets a place with that. I never use that card because I never remember those kind of things. What a great use of that, too, to get Venom on that point. He can still throw Venom. He's not going to get off the point. Though. Venom, so much stuff in Venom the way. is size three, too, right? So Yeah, I think him and Lizard both are. So that's going to be four damage. Okay. So we already got four, five. Oh, oh, oh. Showing five on Venom. Venom is only blocking. Uh, Venom is blocking two. So th I think that's going to be three going through. That, sh that is going to get... 10 Venom takes six, four. Four. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Venom takes four. I believe we're obviously going to be snacking back. I would assume so. It's Snack Nat Smiles back. Venom. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas, I hope someone checked. Ooh, the P.O. Box today. Hmm. Click, text your dad. I will. One power short for retaliating for VR Venom. Oh, one power short for VR Venom. A uh, real precision slice. That's exactly what he needed. Wow. For Arthur, I mean. All right, that's a, all blank. So just symbiote tendrils. Whoa. Those crits doing work there, converting three into five. So that's going to be four after the invulnerability. That'll be easy. Wow. Oh, wait, that was. And he can't reroll because of symbiote tendrils as well. Oh, he was out of. He didn't have enough power to. We are Venom. To we are Venom with so many snakes. I got it. I thought you were saying that it was. He yeah. didn't have enough to do it at all. And I was like, that's weird. Uh, that could be bad here. He might just blast Venom in the face now with a cosmic blast powered up to eight dice. I mean, you might as well just daze him. With the reality gem, too? Yeah, it'd be nearly guaranteed. <laughs> Thanks, Alyssa. Cosmic, cosmic portal. portal. Bye bye, Mysterio. Mysterio out of there. All right. So I believe this is going to have. Once again, Guardians. Did he not get the throw triggered from the strike? He or? did not roll. It was all hits. Oh. <laughs> Cosmic Portal on Venom, too. Okay. Because that's only once per character per turn, right? Correct. And he has the power for it now, thanks to Venom. Ooh, and maybe he maybe he does still blast Venom and get him away even further. <laughs> Little hint, don't let children play with tape. The cat will never be the same. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say that name? GSO. GSO Spectate. GSO Spectate. Gispo Spectate. Gispo Spectate. <laughs> well, yeah, so I'm. let me text my dad right now. Hopefully it's addressed to something funny. If you were curious about where you could send things to the Professional Casual Network, there is a place for it. It is P.O. Box G, as in G. Rocket punched Groove for four damage. West Oneonta, New York, 13861. <laughs> oh, you're right. GSO Spectate. Yeah, Nailed it. Portal and Gobble. Portal again? Portaling the Gobble. Dang. Just go away. You go over there. You go over there. Yeah. Oh, he was at nine power after that? Jeez. Yep. How much did he portal? Is that three or two? Dude, he just took like a heavy chunk back. He just took four damage, had a bunch of strikes go off. Yeah. He has two gems, so he's gaining three power a turn. Yeah, oof. I mean, I, he's right to be afraid of him. Oh, actually, you know what? That's good. Let me make a note of that. Should be a package. Um, and it's from Geospecty. That's because sometimes people don't put return addresses or they send stuff directly from like, other companies or Amazon or stuff like that, and we don't know who it's from. Oh, we're fed in the round. Nine to six. All right, that's going to be nine to six going into round three. So a little less of a gain on Arthur's turn. I think he got pushed off that point enough. And Thanos kind of retreated a little bit. He's a little overwhelmed there by all the spider foes, even after pushing a bunch of them. Still, I mean, Shane is responding to the attrition game correctly getting the points that he can even with multiple portals from thanos still making sure that he's holding on to his three per turn that's a lot of extra 
action's wasted with all those portals, though. It the really movement is. movement they got to get back now. It really is. What do you want me to make a note of, Tim? What was it? Oh, I don't remember. Oh, it was <laughs> that Geospectate sent that to the P.O. Box, maybe? Oh, what, what's your Discord handle? Oh, nice. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. All right, okay. Thanos, Star-Lord, and Rocket with Wingia tokens this round. Did I? I think Tim said, let me take a note of this. Yes. Yep. I said, let <laughs> but we still me. remember what it was. <laughs> I do like that, though. <laughs> That's so good. If you haven't already, uh, Broadcastle TV is uh, Lemmy's Twitch, where they do a whole lot of WFRP, so Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay stuff. Very, very good friend of the network. Lemmy has been instrumental um, in our progress here. So thank you, Lemmy. Oh, hey, Teo. Hell yeah. Yo. Fighter of the night, man. Mateo. All right. So going into round three. Shane's got priority. Shane has priority. Looks like we're starting Venom. Might be somebody him in. I like that. It looks like he might be trying to pull. So in a room where you're going to pop off, right? Where you've had some swings, you've had some injuries, you've had some damage happen, you're full on power. Does not seem like a bad idea to maybe pull Bucky in and take him out so he cannot be got your backing all day. Ooh, Rocket. He's measuring far. Uh-oh, Rocket. He's moving to be able to web snare Rocket, it looks like. It's an interesting choice. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Rocket can be scary with his five die range five attack. Correct. But Always get to cover. Has. But you can't modify or reroll your dice against symbiote tendrils. True. Oh, and he's got winging, in, so he gets around that. And his constant cover. That's the big thing. Oh, yeah. So cover is a modify. Is it warmer in Boston than it is here? Because it certainly seems pretty chilly. We're on the water, so. We haven't seen any trap movements here. Web oh, snare on Bucky. Bucky. You were right Ooh, bringing him right in there. That might have him in range Ooh. to have a trap go off, too. Bumps into that garbage can. It's 20. Whoa. Oh, cool. I guess it is warmer here. Yep, you're right. It's that wind chill, though. Between we're above freezing here, barely. But you are within freezing. Whoa. Wow. That's, that's that. incredible, you. man. Thank you. I'm really excited. Same. Do we record Gapapa this week or I don't know. I, I hope it's Gapapa. I'm pretty sure Gapapa's next Friday. All right. All right. For recording. <laughs> yeah. All right. Rock is getting pulled too. Looks like it's 30 in Onomatopoeia, though. <laughs> okay guys once again if you're just joining us or if you're new to the stream we are live at everwinter 2022 here in downtown boston where you may have just heard it's 33 degrees we are covering the marvel crisis protocol events for the weekend today we are currently in game four of five for the everwinter tournament tomorrow will be the championship on Sunday, where we will find who will take home the first MCP prize from Everwinter. I was gonna say, let me said it's 33 there too, and I was like, mm, I think he's talking about Celsius. And then he said, but centigrade. Oh, is Celsius That's or centigrade? High, There's, they have two words for that? What's centigrade? Is that a Same third thing. one? Oh, is it? It's Celsius, yeah. Pick the most annoying gifts possible. I love it. Oh, no, that sounds oh, great. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, tendrils uh, okay. and a rocket. A rocket, roll rocket rolling a blank. Can't modify. Why is he only rolling one die? Did he get incinerated by pumpkin bombs or something? There might be one in the corner. Oh, right. <laughs> one always goes in that one little spot we can't it's see. A, it's, and it's so odd that it's like on the side, too, of the player. So it really oh, should yeah, be. There, was. there it is. 
What's that? Rocket is okay. dazed and confused. Ooh, but he did attack Rocket first. He didn't go into Bucky. So is Bucky going to get the old uh, pop pop here? Aww. <laughs> Appreciate that. So Lemmy, not knowing the rules, still wants Star Lord to pull it out. Griggs should, gan uh, Griggs should give Dan the inside letter for him to read and decide if he wants to share it. Oh, man. Uh-oh. I like that idea. <laughs> I don't have to share it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no I, I don't think it's an option there. Well, I mean, yes, by, by the wording that he said, it is, in fact, optional. But, yeah, I don't think we should. Should shouldn't what? share it, right? Why? No, <laughs> that's not what I said. I have a feeling it's something I'm not gonna want to. Is it words that I don't want to share with the group, or is it like a thing? Mm. Okay, so my <laughs> Julie Million actual duck. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. I don't want an actual duck in the basement. Oh, that'd be rad. Can you imagine Georgia, the dog, freaking out about a duck in the house? Yeah, for real. So in the mail, in the PO box, we have received multiple rubber duckies, stuffed ducks. Plushy ducks and chainmail hand handmade duck armor. On a duck. On a, a duck. duck. On a duck. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. And thrown, it looks like. Yep. That's some Clintar rage happening there. Get away from here. Oh, throw the trigger nice. the tricks and traps. I love that. There you that. go. One damage oh, on the Lord. tricks and traps, which will let Mysterio make a short move. Shane's getting some damage. Granted, uh, the, uh, he's still in range to do another attack, isn't he? Does he still have another? No, he moved. I think. Venom? Didn't he? I don't know if he did. What was that last He might have. I don't remember. Yeah, that does seem like a far way to go, right? So Venom uh, last round was like... It was behind that building. Yeah. Yeah, so last round Venom certainly was not applicable. <laughs> was back. There it is. All right, now Venom. All right, so Venom did start back here last round. He short moved, short moved. So yeah, he must have moved, pulled and rocket to here pulled in winter soldier threw winter soldier back and uh mysterio then also got a short movement off the tricks and traps a lot happened there a lot of movement yeah I and mean, he hit rocket and one him down. two three four five movements positive for the spider foes and one attack Blah. venom clearly showing up to be uh Someone that, once again, doing a lot without rolling a whole lot of dice. <laughs> then I did ask how much it would cost for a hand-carved duck from an artist and at a con. <laughs> but no, it's a bit of a gag. <laughs> that sounds awesome. I hope it's like like a Pinewood Derby car that's been carved to have a bill on the front or something like that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go get back to Arthur here on the Guardian side. Let's see, who's he going with? Meow. The Winter Soldier's in a precarious spot, maybe with him. Yeah, I mean, uh, taking down someone like Mysterio, especially when you have a little bit of extra power, certainly doesn't seem like a bad idea. Ooh, your wife is a tattoo artist? That's rad as hell. I wouldn't mind getting a duck tattoo. Uh, my, my wonderful, beautiful wife has talked about getting a lucky tattoo. Uh, which I am over the moon for. Lemmy's wife is a tattoo artist. They could give us a duck tattoo if we ever go to Uruguay. <laughs> my wife sold. Says, <laughs> That's true. My wife has been filling out. She has a sleeve going on and she has a couple more spots to fill in. A duck would be a perfect uh, addition. <laughs> Right. Yo, we're actually not too far from Niagara Falls. All things considered. Get All right. More deliberation. No breathing. Like he's about to commit. 
I think he's just about ready. I think these guys might run into time. This is kind of a game where Shane is going to have to start playing faster if he wants to make sure that he has an opportunity to get what he needs. We are going so we are going to soldier. Moving Moving up soldier. Here. Might be Red Fury in here. I think he picked up something. Oh, I think Rocket dropped a cube. Yep. And uh, Bucky picked it up. I believe he's got oh, two now. Bucky with two cubes. They're not right. hammers, but so he's gonna go back to the other, other side. side of Rocket. Mm -hmm. You can still do placements off of these characters because they're still there. Winter Soldier has two cubes though, so he might just be moving back to hold that back point. Ooh. And then your Hydra Tech is again off of Groot to get even further away. Okay. I love that. I don't hate that. It's a lot of power, but he has it. No, he's gonna go aerial lizard, lizard, lizard hunting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if Thanos death the cream, I like a this six a lot. Dice. Six on the initial round. Wow, that way to good. pop off. That is five with a crit showing up front. Lizard's got a winging two. token too. Yeah, so roll that crit and then you're probably rerolling that block and maybe having six. Wow. wow. I think Lizard's got a little damage on him already. Yeah. He, he might not need it. Lizard Daisy Lizard doesn't even need the crits or the rerolls. Holy spit. That was a heck of a shot. And that's a victory point, too, I think. Huh? Uh, not Black of, oh, it's not. Uh, oh, you're not. You're right. You're right. It's just Thanos. I, this, this whole time, I'm like, whoa, he's going to kill all these things. Oh, and he had a QB dropped. That's kind of a big deal. Yep. That's and someone else could pick it up, but that brings them closer to everybody else, too. And Hydra Tag is one more again. <laughs> oh, my God. Three Hydra Tag. He's just duck diving and dodging and duck so, diving. So, so there was some things, right, with uh, Wakandan herbs where Nick Fury and Winter Soldier working together could set up a Hydra Tactics to have um, Winter Soldier go across the board and back with the herb. As long as he had round. enough power for yeah. it. Yeah. Usually stopping to make a couple quick shots, get some more power, and then getting the rest of the way there. <laughs> That's wild. That was a really good Bucky play. That yeah, really well, was. I'm impressed. All right, we got Cassandra Nova moving up, being like, all right, well, Thanos needs to go. So we have the first move. Looks like we're getting a Cassandra Nova attack off onto Thanos. Uh, mind possession on Thanos. Mind possession on Thanos. A little bit of a spender here, but a pop off on that defense dice with two crits. But That's that attack yeah, looks two. really good. Five blocking. Oh no, six. Does look like six blocking three total with the. No, he has the reality gem. Only two. Reality gem making that pop off and reducing it again. So six turns into just two piddly damage on Thanos. Really caught. Wow. Really good. Really good. I mean, both players were on very well there. Yeah. Unfortunately, that usually means not a lot happens. <laughs> and then Goblin trick or treats. And then Goblin is going to trick or treat after the possession movement to blow up the rocks on sign which means Thanos will be taking a collision for an automatic four damage based on this dodge roll. He's blocking nothing, which means he's going to be taking three because of his invulnerability. Terrifying. That's brutal because he took like four before. He's only got to have one or two. After yeah, I think, that, I think that is going to be a daze. Much. Thinking about bracing. No, spending the wing yet token, reroll two of them. Converts so one of them. The right so he'll be taking two here instead of four. He is still and dazed. He is down. Still, I mean, that's still a lot of damage. It's a lot of power for him to come back. Great with. turn from Cassandra Thanos Nova. His health goes up when he dazes, right? It does. He goes, he to, goes like, to from eight to ten or something like that, or seven to nine, something like that. Yeah, I forget exactly how much, but it's significant. I think he gets two more when he flips, but still a it lot. It will be significant. So slim Thanos. Yep, I know. Almost messed it up. <laughs> Goes from eight to nine. Oh, only one more. Okay. Yeah. Still, nine is a lot to get through with good defenses and the reality gem and probably winning at tokens. I like how Arthur's keeping Star Lord back yeah. and safe, especially with how um, shy Shane is playing. He's not in danger of losing those winning tokens anytime soon. Yeah. Yep. 
We're getting near the end of the round here. Mm -hmm. Thanos dazing too. That's a big move. I do believe that it's going to be giving priority back to Arthur next round. Mm. Thanos had not activated. Yeah, true. Lose, but losing an activation in Thanos is big. Yeah. Especially if they run out of time. Correct. Correct. Luckily for Arthur, Thanos has been efficient with no, his I'm activation so far. Yeah, fair. Very, very fair. I mean, I feel like we've got to be getting close to time. I'm sure we'll be getting the, the timer here saying... At the end of the round, it's done, and I think that is going to hurt Shane, kind of regardless. Here, I when, I know I'm not sure exactly what time this round started. I think it was like five. Well, and that's that's the thing here is we are using the challenger rules, so the rounds do vary in time, up to five minutes, shorter or longer. Are they ninety minutes base? Ninety minute base. So they might it's a have, swing of up to like ten minutes. Five minutes or so, right? Yeah. But and there will be one more game after this. If you are tuning in and you expect to be hanging out with us tonight at the barcade, I'll tell you, we will not be there at six <laughs> or probably even eight. All right. What we got? Who does? Groot. Oh, Groot picked up a cube. He's not contesting the back objective, so he doesn't get incinerated. Yep. Really Groot, good yeah. call. With someone you're going to be bodyguarding that much on, that's really someone you do not want to be incinerated. All right. Mysterio is going to be moving up. It looks like he's going to be claiming that middle point this round. And he's going to be making a mystic attack, looks like, on Groot. Hypnosis blast on, on gas on Groot. All right, hypnosis gas on Groot, showing one defense, two defense. Let's make that potentially three. Uh, only one success, so it's all blocked. No damage. No damage. Damage does have to go through to get the effects of that attack off. It is not on a wild. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's probably eight minimum. So guess what, y'all? We got at least two hours left. Two hour wait. Two hour wait. <laughs> two what? Two hour wait. Two hour wait. <laughs> All right. So that's Mysterio gone. So that is going to mean who is left. Oh, Alyssa, thank you for the stretch. And that's a good call. I was just thinking I need to take a drink. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, crack goes the knuckles. For oh, real. Take a little sippy here. Mm. Uh, all right. Ooh, I kind of want that other energy drink I bought yesterday, but oh, yeah. I'm going to save it for the morning tomorrow because we're going to be right back at it tomorrow morning. I believe we're starting at 10 again tomorrow. Makes sense. For another probably four rounds for the championship, depending on how that goes. Hey, son, how are you? You want to say hi to your boy? Oh, you did? <laughs> want to say hi to him on stream? <laughs> All right, we got a hit and run on Mysterio. A blam. From the Star Lord. Hey, listen. Hi. <laughs> hey, buddy. What's that? Blocks it all. Hey, buddy. Hey, kid. All right. For those of you that haven't seen her before, this is my lovely wife, Lindsay. Uh, <laughs> he just says mother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen. That's a good one. Hello. All right. Oh, that. So the cool hit runner is back. Yeah, it is. Lindsay, put that back where you found it. <laughs> oh, okay. Crew of the Milano is so good. Crew of the Milano this late into the round, though. That's something you want to save for next round, no? Because then you can't have status effects put on you for the rest of the round. Green Goblin hadn't gone yet. Mm. So he can't incinerate or poison anybody. Yep. Yep. Alyssa says, hi, Mama PCM. <laughs> she says, hello. All right, so we have oh, a goblin hit and run with an energy slotted pumpkin bomb going into group. 
Goblin's like, you can hit and run? I can hit and run too. All right, looks like we're using the wing get token there. Gonna block one. Only blocking one damage, but he will get incinerate. I thought he couldn't get incinerate because of through the Milano. Uh, group may not have spent for it. So, yep, he is gonna remove it. So, yep, he cannot be incinerated. Such a good card. Uh, Mama PCN Quinn also says hello. Hello, Quinn, she says. Come Just kidding. On. She was like, who? <laughs> it's one of my favorite jokes. Uh, my friend Bill and I would play a lot of League of Legends. And Lindsay would come in while I was playing, and she'd be like, who are you playing with? I'd be like, Bill. All right, we're going to end the round 14 to 9. It's looking pretty precarious. And Shane's in a rough spot here. For Shane. Holding on to that three around, though. And he's not... He's not moving back. He's only standing still. But um, to keep Arthur from scoring two points this round is going to be difficult. Yes, for real. But I'd be playing uh, League of Legends with my friend Bill. Lindsay would come in and say, oh, hey, Bill. And Bill right, would then... So in the power phase, Venom and Bucky Days. Venom and Bucky Days from cubes in the power phase. Oof. That's well, at rough. least it's one on each side. Yep. And uh, Bill on the, the mic to me would say, hey, uh, hi, Lindsay. And I would say, Lindsay. Uh, he says, who's that? And then um, in response, I would do the same thing to, to Bill from Lindsay. It was always very funny to me. No one else. <laughs> the best jokes. <laughs> For you. Mm, yes. Yeah, that's how that's, it's all relative, matters, right? right? Yeah. Comedy is relative. So if it's funny to me, guess what? It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Again? Taylor's going to go take another nap. Taylor's been drinking a lot of water here. We're super hydrated here at the Professional Casual Network. Oh, and he had a tea, apparently. No one said that was okay. <laughs> Who let him have a tea? A Yerba Mate, no less. Ooh, Yerba. Mate. Barely know her. <laughs> What's the Scooby-Doo? <laughs> no. <laughs> nope. No, thank you. Hi, Mitch. <laughs> ah, hilarious. <laughs> Thanks, Mitch. Don't right. encourage him. <laughs> <laughs> you can kind of hear the uh, the ambient noise here popping up. Oh, looks like Ben is done with his game. Alyssa, how did Ben do? Oh, Rusty's over here, too. Oh, and Rusty. So that means they both finished round four. So curious how that Brotherhood versus Brotherhood match went. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch, I would expect no less. <laughs> All right, so Arthur's Ben got... won. Ben is four and zero. Wow, All good right. for him. Manito was right. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Both of them, though, were there potentially. Oh, he might have run Freedom Force. I guess we'll need that information. Yeah. If Magneto was right or not there. All right, Arthur is got prior has priority now. Looks Could be like a big weird. play here, really seal this up. We will be running into time probably this round. Ooh, starting with Rocket. I think it's fair to assume the same three have the winging a token, Thanos, Rocket, and Bucky. All right. Okay, so we got a Tricks and Traps here off of that movement. Oh, I want to see Violent Knight because I really love David Harbour. Okay, so let's see what they're rolling for this particular Tricks and Traps. And that could actually could have oh, it looks like Rocket. It did, it did go off. Wait, he why something. is he moving? Yeah. So Mysterio's moving up. He gets and a short move from that, right? Yeah. Rocket moves. He's still got... I believe he has one more action. So that I'm means... he's going to shoot somebody. Yeah, so that means Rocket definitely took damage from that. But he's only got three on this side, I'm pretty sure, so it could have killed him. Yeah, very much so. Oh, that's nice. awesome. I, I really enjoy David Harbour as an actor. Yeah, for real. Yep. Who is? Rocket's oh, using the spider here, so we have glider. Love this. Into who? Oh, we got two blocks, but we're showing a lot of hits here. And the wild or goblin because they're pretty central. Could potentially hit a couple other characters. Okay, who's this onto? Oh, and Death's Decree. That's brutal. This guy. All right. 
Love this move cool combo, right? Dude, music. it is really fun. I really want to try this list out. It seems like a blast. Get it? <laughs> Onto the lizard. Oh, I knew it. Yeah, because oh, yeah. the explosion could hit. Uh, yeah, goblin, maybe, probably Cassandra, probably and potentially Venom. Venom. I think it's two only one two. goes through. What? <laughs> oh, that is the time. Okay, to that use makes it. way more yep, sense. One hundred percent. I was like, how do you roll that? Yeah, because he's showing what two, four, six, seven. Um, Depending on what's in the corner there. Yeah, I think it's another hit actually. So it's on the side of the crit, right? So yeah, I'm you can see the hits next to it. it. <laughs> <laughs> Only goblin was in range for that. Yeah. Okay. Still. Yeah. All right. One in the lizard. One in the goblin. Dang. Not as nice as it could have been. Cassandra was slow. Okay. So Cassandra and goblin both oh, taking one from the uh, the right? explosion on the hydra and the fuller, and oh, then nice. deadly duo. This is gonna hurt. This is where it gets real Oof. and could be sealed up. But we have seen a lot of deadly duos just absolutely whiff. Is I that going to be that one of these? Here. Nope. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. <laughs> not at all. Whoa, definitely not. So that's six into six? Gabo. I, he's just picking up the dice. He knows he's yeah, going. Yeah, I think yep. Goblin's just dazed. If yep. not KO. Nope, there's the dazed there's token. There's the dazed token. All right, so starting off strong. Who goes Next, against the deadliest duo around, Rocket and Groot. Oh, deadly duo. Goblin didn't stand a chance against that many crits. All right. Whoa, what we're really what? popping off here. The lizard That's taking five. Good five. It just, he's see, looking at it. You he's see with yeah. Shane's hand, just like, what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> wow. All right. Lizard is gone. The lizard is KO. 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 <laughs> Um, all right, this last shot, I'm assuming, is going at Venom. Bye, Mitch. Oh, no, three dice. That means it's Cassandra Nova. Also, rolling nothing. This one, only two, though. Two into Nova. Oof. That was a heck of an activation. Wow. I mean, most it was almost all deadly duo, but still. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. All right. That card. And he picks up a cube. This is mine now. Wow, Rocket. Yeah, Gremlin. Remember that time you just wanted someone to arm instead of just murdering three people? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to seal it, I think, at this point. There's no way to come back from that. He doesn't have an activation from Goblin. <laughs> what actually? Lizard this is, is a gone. team hyper combo hitting the happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. I guess it's the happy birthday part. It's a. Uh, watch some fighting streams, man. I don't. <laughs> happy feet. Um. <laughs> Team Hyper Combo makes sense to me. I don't know what Happy Birthday means. Um, it's something they call out the, the stream cast or stream callers, stream casters, shout casters. There we go. A shout caster is just someone that you know yells a bunch when they're streaming like a tournament uh, as commentary, like us. Yeah, we don't yell as much as the shout caster, but well, not we could today because there's we other could. streamers right next to us. Yes, we're being considerate. What about Venom? He's dazed. Yeah. When did Venom get dazed? Oh, in the power phase. Yeah. You said that. I Venom forgot that. Winter Soldier. Wow, he has just Cassandra Nova. All right. And How's Nova going to pull this off? She's got to do a lot of work right now. All right. I don't know what this was. Mitch, give him Cassandra Nova your power. Yeah, dude. Um. Oh, okay. So that was into Star Lord. Uh, plucky Attitude is going to so make that crits. work. Yep. Oh, that wasn't Plucky Attitude. That's just three. Dude, all crits all the time. Happy birthday. Using team games when you catch more than one character and an attack and deal huge damage to them. Happy birthday. You have to say it like Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> <laughs> Who's. Oh, it's activated. Tony. We tried it again. Recalibration Matrix? Huh? Recalibration Matrix? Or Plucky Attitude? Um, we tried another hypnosis game. Oh, gotcha. Uh, oh, it was hypnosis. I thought it was Cassandra Noble going there. Yeah, same band. All right, so that's a, that's a portal. That's a space gem. Space gem. Yeah. He's going to punch that bald old lady. Yeah, right into that gob. Well, the goblin's already dazed. So. Yeah, but he can still throw her into her and have her take the damage from it. Fair. Kadoosh. Yeah. I'm Kadoosh. I hate to say, but I think Arthur's just kind of playing cleanup at this point. Just think of that narratively, too. You know what I mean? Of, 
Oh, we got a trap going off. She nothing. Trap, trap, trap. Yeah, nothing. Psychic trap. Great attack roll there, too. Sheen's wilds and crit. Spending three on a cosmic blast? Oh, ouch. Cosmic blast. Yeah. Fully charged to eight dice. Not really working out there. For <laughs> so that's great. Only two successes on an eight dice cosmic blast. Sounds like wow. a Tim roll. Right yeah, it is a Tim roll. Winging the token. Winging it. What's he going to get with it? He's going to convert one. 50% of the time it converts one this time. Oh, and the skull actually is a crate here. Never mind. It isn't a Saturday if you're a function of bold old lady. Cassandra is no lady. Thanks, Mitch. You got weird Saturdays, man. <laughs> you know, they're they're called fun Saturdays, Dan. All right, then we're gonna go with a strike. Steer right two. Two, four. There's the throw. That's better. She's blocking two, though. Oh, there's a handshake. Yep. I think Shane is going to do it. There. That's going to be a daze. Is he calling or just saying, like, good shot? I think Actually, he needed Cassandra. I think he knows with Cassandra Nova down, he's got. I mean, he's yep. done for this round anyway. Yeah. So there's nothing he can do to stop Arthur from scoring two points. Correct. So we got to get the final tally here for victory points. Yep. So that, that was gonna, a I mean, good he's going to be over 16 Arthur. here. So that should have it be. I mean, is he scoring anything? I'm not sure exactly where all the cubes are right now. Just the back point, maybe? Because he's dazed. Yeah, everybody's dazed, so he can't be holding oh, any so cubes. So yeah, he can't score he can't anything. He can't score any points. So yeah, he's definitely going to be at nine. It all depends on how much. Wow. Well, I can see why he was afraid of Thanos. Final score, 19 to 11. 19 to 11? How do you get two? How do you get two in that last round? Oh, Mysterio. Oh, I thought he was days too. My bad. So did I. He must have two cubes. Picked him up. Then all day he had. Good luck. Good. But not enough to squeak out a win here in round four. Then we'll have Arthur going ahead, I believe. <laughs> that puts Arthur at three and one. And that will put Shane at two and two. Two and two. Uh, all right, so we know Ben is at four and zero. I believe that means he is the final undefeated player in this particular event. Yeah, because he was up against the only other undefeated player. And yes, won. sir. So we are going to be taking a very short break here. Dan, if you want to keep talking for a little bit, uh, I really need to tinkle. Um, Sure. Okay. <laughs> so once again, guys, we are here at Everwinter in downtown Boston, an AOS and 40K tournament that has expanded to be in MCP, Infinity, and so much more. 